Good morning, all of you. Welcome to the sixth science class of uh, Santa Tukaram National Medical School. Myself, Dr. Swami, and today we are going to see a new chapter that is plants, their forms, and their function. In today's session, we are going to learn about the leaf and its parts. So let's start. Leaf is a thin, flattened, green part of a plant that is attached to the stem or branch at the node. It is a green in color. Mostly, it is a green in color, and it is the center for the photosynthesis process. That is why it is called as the kitchen or the food factory of the plant. Why it is called as food factory of the plant? Because due to green in color, because the green pigment called chlorophyll. Which is present at the leaf. It this helps for the photosynthesis process. What is the photosynthesis process? Uh, it is the food pre uh, preparation process of the plant with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll, which is present in the uh, leaf that uh, of the green in color that helps to prepare a food for the plant by absorbing water from the roots and uh, carbon dioxide from the atmospheric air. With the help of sunlight, we can. Prepare their food by the photosynthesis process. That is why the green uh, leaf is called as the kitchen or the food factory of the plant. Maximum amount of food is prepared on the leaf of the plant. There are different uh, the leaf of the plant is vary with their size, and sometimes they are vary with the color also. Leaves of the plants are vary in the shape. Size and sometimes it, uh, they are vary with the color also. But maximally, uh, the leaf of the plants are green in color. Sometimes it is red, or sometimes it is yellow in color in a few plants. Leaf contains tiny openings. Leaves contains tiny openings. It is called as stomata. And through this stomata, which uh, uh, exchange of gases takes place, like carbon dioxide, they are taking and they are exiting under oxygen as a side product of the photosynthesis process. And not only the gases, but also the water vapor also they can uh, exchange out with the uh, during transpiration process through that stomata. Okay, now we will discuss about the. Parts of the leaf. The leaf has different parts like lamina, petiole, apex, margin, and midrib, or it is also called as veins. So we will discuss about each part of the leaf in detail. The flat, broadened surface of a green leaf. See this flat, broadened surface of the leaf is called as leaf blade or it is also called as lamina the flat surface of the leaf which is green in color that is called as the lamina or leaf blade next this this leaf is attached with the stem with the thin stalk like structure this thin stalk like structure which attaches this leaf to the stem is called as petiole the, with that stalk like structure, which is thin, that attaches this leaf blade to the stem that is called as petiole. The tip of the leaf, the tip of the leaf, which is the top part of the leaf, is called as apex or leaf apex. It is the top part of the leaf, is called as leaf apex. Okay, the boundary of the leaf. This see this boundary, the edge or the boundary part of the leaf is called as leaf margin. See this boundary part. See this boundary part. This is called as leaf margin. Okay. Take a close look of leaf. Do you notice the thin line running from the base toward the tip of the leaf. See this. See this. See this thin line, which is running from the base of the leaf towards the tip of the leaf. Can you see this? Yes, you would also see that these, these thin lines are spread all over the lamina or all over the green part of the leaf. Yes, these are these fine lines, these fine are, lines are nothing but the veins and the center line which is running from the base of the leaf, which is running from the base of the leaf towards the apex of the leaf. This central vein is called as midrib. 
which continues from the petioles and runs from the base of the leaf towards the apex of the leaf. These veins, what is the function of these veins? These veins transport water, nutrients and the food from, towards the, all the parts of the plant and towards the, all the parts of the leaf. The thinner veins carried out food and water to every part of the leaf. Veins also, so not only they are transferring the food and nutrients and water towards the, all the parts of the leaf, but also they can uh, balance, they are supporting the leaf plate. This lamina it gets supported by that smaller veins. And the last part of the leaf is stipule. It is not present in all the parts of in all plants, but in some plants for the extra support of the leaf, for that extra support, the leafy outgrowth is there. Antenna-like structure are there. These two are there, no? Yes, that leafy outgrowth at the base of some leaf or its stalk usually occurring in the pear and in it is soon set. Okay, antenna-like structures are there. That structure is called as stepio, which gives the extra support to the leaf. Okay, so these all are the parts of the leaf. What are the parts of the leaf? We will repeat it again. Petiole, it is a stalk like structure which attaches this leaf to the stem that is called as petiole. Then the broad surface of the leaf, broad, broad flat surface of the leaf is called as lamina or the leaf blade. The boundary of the leaf is called as leaf margin. The tip of the leaf is called as apex or the ap uh, leaf apex. Okay, the main vein passing from the base of the leaf towards the apex is called as midrib. Okay, and this antenna like structure, leafy outgrowth structure, which is present at the sun plants, that is called as stipule. So these are some parts of the leaf. Next, in the next session, we will discuss about the functions of the leaf. Thank you.